2.3 EcoBoost performance. That's gonna do it, man, because at the end of the day, though, you know, it's still a, it's not a V8. There's your regular F-150. There's this, 72,000 or something like that. Oh, there it is in the back, it's got white stripes. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a really busy past couple of weeks. I'm going to a buddy's house, Steve, a surplus tank. So every time that we get together, like crazy stuff always happens every single time. The last time I was with him, well, uh, he bought a 2020 GT500. So Lord knows what will happen today. Yeah, we haven't even driven this Mustang in about, uh, I don't know, a week at least. The last time that we drove it, remember we did 9.7 at the track. <laughs> So finally getting faster, yes, 9.7. But we had a major hiccup with the transmission. If you guys have missed those videos for any reason, please click the cards up above. Uh, there's gonna be multiples throughout this entire video. Everything we've been basically doing over the past couple of weeks, if you've been missing content, it's uh, you're missing out. That's all I can say. It's been crazy. What I think is just happening is a bit of transmission slip and a lot of, we had a bit of a thud in like the fourth or fifth gear when we were shifting down the track. It's pretty significant. When I drove it home, you know, there was no clunking. There was no nothing like that. So that's all good news. But I think it's just, I just think we just need to put our clutches that we ordered um, that I've had for a long time. I think we need to get them installed finally because, I mean, go figure, right? We doubled, potentially tripled the horsepower out of this car. You know, what did we think was going to happen, right? And this is pretty much true for any kind of force induction application that you throw at uh, any kind of Mustang or any car, really. We'll just see how today plays out. Just knowing Steve, whenever we get together, crazy stuff happens, right? So, should be an adventure, but appreciate you guys sticking around watching the videos. Let's get to it. Bro, every time I see him, he's got something crazy new. Holy sh Look at that thing. There's the 500. That thing looks so good. If you guys missed the uh, the last videos where we went and picked this thing up, links up above, go check out the videos. They're doing really well. I really appreciate you guys watching them, but um, we gotta get out here and check it out because I think he's changed a couple of things. We're put some stuff on and uh, I give him a hand with the white Mustang. So let's go. What's up? Getting her cleaned up. Yeah. Oh, I hate I hate pulling there's, these things off. This wing's kicking my ass. Was that the was that an actual GT three fifty or was that a replica? It was a track pack wing, yeah. Oh it was. Ah yeah. Uh, yeah, so you definitely want to keep that. Last time we were together, he bought a hundred thousand dollar Mustang and Oh it looks good, bro. Doesn't it look yeah, it looks so good. That looks killer. So he didn't have the aero bits on it before, but he's got it cleaned up. He didn't even want the dealership to wash it. It had wrappers and stuff all over it. So this is my first time seeing it completely, basically like undressed, I guess you could say. And then we got mine. Yeah, the carbon fiber. What's this scratch right here? Do you see this? Do you see this massive scratch? <laughs> just kidding. It got me to walk over though. Right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is this thing, man? A new toy. That's a new toy? Yeah. You know, I got another big announcement I'm gonna make this Wednesday, hopefully. Oh. Wednesday night. But more once I once I got everything that I've been planning for the last year or so kind of all together, it, yeah. just, it became apparent that like keeping this car is just not it's not really financially feasible. Gotcha. Right Between paying for this car and like if I'm gonna keep content flowing like that yes. was the plan the whole time you know i want to do a build with this we want to finish the r and yep. keep competing with that car we had three car payments because i paid off the r 
Now we only have two car payments, so that kind of justified me. Always buying new toys. I need to do what you do. Oh, it's an 18. Yeah. Oh, cool. Got a front camera. He said this thing is fully decked out, fully loaded. Man, got a 2020 GT500, an 18 Raptor. Trading in the, uh, the other Mustang. He's got the R. He said he just paid it off. So he does a lot of track stuff. We're eventually gonna put this car, Mike, my, my twin turbo Mustang, head to head with the 2020 GT500. Guys, don't miss, you don't wanna miss that content. It's coming. So get ready for this versus that. And uh, that Raptor looks super sexy. Is it unlocked? Can I check out the interior? This is a Raptor. I like it's kind of the same kind of like key as the, uh, the Mustangs. That's neat. All right. Let's check her out. Looks good. Oh yeah, she's loaded. Wow. I was lucky enough to actually get to take one and do like jumps and stuff with it way back when. It's pretty neat how they handle, but ah, uh, you got uh, some magnesium. This is very GT500 like. The magnesium paddles there. Carbon fiber everywhere. Big, oh, he's got the big roof. Memory seating said it had 23,000 miles on it. That looks good. All right, now the sun's out. Let's take us another look at it. It looks so good. Thing cleans up very well. This is one of the best colors I think that Ford makes. It's velocity blue. Videos seriously do not do these cars any justice whatsoever. And a Raptor Ford Performance twin turbo Mustang GT with a parachute on the back. Cause we're trying to go fast. There's a whole lot of freedom in this driveway, bro. Yeah, this this thing is awesome. The seats got these nice like bolstering here, and they're hot and cold. Everything is really good looking. Carbon fiber looks really good. That's my favorite part is all the carbon. Yeah, this is a step above <laughs> the other one that you had for sure. We gotta film this. It's one of a kind. It's a, it's a one of a kind. They call it the Mega Raptor. The Mega Raptor. Look at it's that so thing. Holy crap. That's not. That thing is massive. Absolutely insane. It's called a Mega Raptor. Look at that. How tall are you? Six foot two. Yeah, you're six foot two. Jeez, oh my god. This is, yeah, the whole body is. This was an F 250. An F 250? And they've mocked it up called a Mega Raptor. It looks like a SEMA build, doesn't it? It does, man. Yeah, it somebody got money. I guess that's the company right there. That is wicked. So they bought the F 250. You said that they put 150 or 130,000? Somewhere around 130 grand. Was the upcharge. Yeah. This is nuts. Dude, look at the suspension. Like, I've got this basically almost eye level. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, right here, this is eye level, and I am 5'11". That is wicked. <laughs> That's nuts, bro. Oh, they got the wheel in the back? Yeah. That's so crazy. It's like a ginormous Baja truck, you know? It's massive. Hey, look at the suspension. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. I've seen some big trucks at like no, cars and coffee and stuff, like but that is wicked. Holy crap. You can't even park this. Like, <laughs> no, this thing, that's probably like eight feet wide or something like that. That's nuts. Yeah, that's probably wider than a typical trailer. Right? Yeah, <laughs> look at the old, uh, compared to, there's your regular F-150. There's an F-150. There's this. There is the new project car. Just kidding. Still got this guy. If you guys remember the past couple of videos, $570,000 for GT. Going to its home 
here soon in South Korea, I believe. But, uh, Floyd, come on, keys, please. Sir. Sir! <laughs> <laughs> you know I'll take care of it. I know you will, anybody. For the first two miles. For the first two miles. With mine, but I guess they couldn't find it. We're going to get a sneak peek, guys. We'll go to the golf cart. All sweet. Well, we're going to get a sneak peek of uh, something cool. Jenkins and Wynn Ford, guys. I appreciate you doing this. You said just got here, right? I think I uh, just got here. If you did a different study. When did the 500 get here? When did the 500 get here? It's back there now. When did it get here? Today? Today? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. So if every time I hang out with you, you buy something new. <laughs> every time I come here, we get to do cool stuff. Oh, let's go. We'll be right back, Steve. We're getting behind the scenes of access. Put it back so nobody can get in there. We good. And it's, he says Ford Performance Blue. Yeah, I, th I think it's like a blue jeanish. I like it. It is nice. I like mine way better. Oh, I, I like yours way better. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Velocity Blue is. Oh, there it is in the back. It's got white stripes. I just saw it. We're getting a sneak peek. There it is, though. Woo! That looks so fire, bro. Love it. I mean, I would. I would have no problem buying a base model. Look at that. Yeah, my blue is just so much more like poppy. It is, but there's something really it's cool. It's more classy, that blue, too. It, it is. It's kind of, I agree. If I if I ordered one, it would probably be the orange. I got to stand by my word, I think. But If I could do it over again, I might either get the race red or the green. The, I like the, the green, green is hot. I do like the green. The green is hot. Yeah, I mean, this. the color's nice. What is this, that uh, yeah, lead like foot? It. Yeah, this is it's one of my favorite colors. It's nice, bro. 72,000 or something like that. 60. 60,000. Yeah. Cloth interior, though. Oh, yeah. I couldn't do this. No sunroof. Yeah, basic. I mean, the color's nice. It is a rafter. You got the base wheels, but I mean, it looks nice. But yeah, I think it's a downgrade. Yeah, I mean, like you're options, talking about. Not this, I mean, a Raptor is still a better truck than what I Oh, did. sure. Yeah. But I meant like with all the options, it would have been a downgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the new 2.3 EcoBoost Performance. Yeah, the high performance 2.3. The good is got kind of like a California-ish style grill here. What's up? The spoiler is like painted magnetic. Interesting. Also, oh, yeah, that's weird. It's not even the same color interesting but i couldn't do it man because at the end of the day though you know it's still a it's not a v8 you know i don't know that's just me i gotta have a v8 all right that's the video guys so congratulations to steve my buddy surface things on youtube one more time in a very short period of time so last time i saw him he bought a hundred thousand dollar mustang gt he's gonna be bringing some content we're gonna be collabing it up too we're gonna take my twin turbo mustang and uh, go against the Ford Mustang GT500 here very soon. But we're saying goodbye to this car back here, his. Kind of hard to let him go, but all for the greater good. So if you enjoyed today's content, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell. Also, please check out Serpent Things on YouTube. Um, he has three of the Halo cars now. So GT350R, GT500 Track Pack, and now the new Raptor. Well, 2018, but still, it's a Halo car. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. That's it. She gone. Bye bye.